Hi guys, this is Banches, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. So sit back and relax and enjoy this episode. If you guys are new to my channel, go down below and hit that subscribe button. If you guys have been here before, welcome back. I love having you guys. And if you guys love this video, go down below and hit that like button. So to continue um, on, we also have a giveaway going on for Transport Fever. And our giveaway is pretty simple. All you guys need to go and do is go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment on this video. Pretty simple. If you guys like these kind of games, I would say it's a no-brainer, and you guys should definitely go and do it. But, um, yeah, moving on from here. So, in our last episode, we went ahead and kind of did some more management. Um, we went ahead and upgraded a lot of our lines to some more diesel locomotives. Um, this line down here is mostly all diesel locomotives. We have uh, diesel freight trains down here, plus diesel passenger trains. Um, this farther away line over here is completely upgraded. We have all diesel trains on this line, which is operating very well. We're probably going to need to add more trains onto this line. This line over here still has a few steam locomotives, but we will get to that in this episode. But yeah, for today's episode, we are going to be doing a few new things. The first major thing I think we'll be doing, I'm debating, I think we might upgrade our airports to um, the medium-sized airports and just kind of try to get uh, some passengers flowing on here with some jet planes. So I think that will be a, a fun little thing to do. Also, uh, what we're going to try to do is get this over here hooked up with some ore and coal trying to come to this steel plant so we can get steel out on this line and also get some wood from here flowing to here. Um, the idea basically is going to be we really want to get, um, yeah, we really, really, really want to get basically goods from this facility and also we want uh, machinery from this facility being placed on the lines. So if we can get these uh, two items going and eventually even getting um, the plastic on with this uh, food right here, then we can distribute a lot of these materials to this facility and this facility here, getting these goods out on the line, really helping increase our uh, demand. So I think the first thing we're going to start with in this episode is getting some of these passenger trains ironed out. You can see here we have a crazy amount of demand on this line here. Um, and I believe we only really have a few uh, free tra or passenger trains here. Yeah, we only have three. So we really need to up this. Um, let's go into here, and we're just going to start off by buying a new passenger train right off the bat here. Okay, so there we go. We got one more, and we're going to just double this, get two out on this line, and let's place this bad boy out here. Where? Which line is this going on now? That's a true question. Okay, here we go. So these trains will come out, and they will start cycling through. That will be really good. We have a bunch of oil here for freight. What else do we need to iron out on this line, it looks like? I think we also need to consider the oil here. There's a lot of oil sitting here, and I believe this line, we don't have all that many vehicles. If we go to vehicles, yeah, we need to get some more vehicles on this line and operating. So let's go into here. We're just gonna just gonna get that many. Why not? So hopefully this works out well. And we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom here. And let's see, where is this line? Nope. There we go. So it's that line. We'll get some more oil coming out here. These passenger trains then should be picking up uh, some fuel from these stations, which will be awesome. This will be great, exactly what we need to try to get some more fuel running on these lines. Uh, if you go over here now, we have a lot of food being stored here. So this line 67 definitely needs to get some more vehicles on here. So let's get some more vehicles for this line also. Um, it looks like we ran out of the vehicles that I've been wanting to upgrade. So we're going to just stick with this guy for right now. Let's go with him. Just until we can get another vehicle upgrade. Um, line 67. Boom. There we go. So that will help clear out some of that food demand. Um, we also have the passenger demand being cleared there. This is doing fine. I believe also this facility is fine. So those are doing very well. This, once again, as always, is going absolutely nuts. 
Um, we're definitely going to need to get more locomotives out on this line too. So, yeah, we only have four out here. Let's bump this thing up to six. I think that will be good too for this line. So, let's get this rolling here. Go here, and we'll go down here. Okay, perfect. So now, basically, we're just going to get um, enough vehicles to get these out on the line again. Let's double this thing up. Okay, that is looking really good. And let's get these freight out on this line, too. This line is definitely needs some upgrades. You can also see here that these trains are waiting. Um, so hopefully, they'll get out onto the track soon, and we'll start seeing some of this demand shrink. Um, that would be really, really good because I bet you these lines are not profitable at all right now. You can see there's basically no uh, stone being produced because this is such a high um, amount. But we will have to get that operating very soon here. This is starting to pick up demand, which is good. We have over here with these passenger lines, they're doing operating very well. Um, this ship has been doing a very good job, so I can't complain. But like I mentioned, we need to upgrade our airport. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult because right now we have medium-sized airports, which are, I'd say, they're fairly large. Like, that thing is pretty big. And I got to figure out where is this thing going to fit in here. It could fit in here like this. Um, ah, it's definitely going to be difficult, though. Yeah, I'm going to uh, cut right here, guys, and I'm going to get this airport idea figured out. Uh, and when this is all ironed out, I will come back to you guys. Okay guys, and I am back. We have upgraded this airport here. Now we have finally placed a medium-sized airport. We had to do some modifications. We had to put this road underneath here uh, just to allow basically the trams to still function. Uh, we also moved this um, station right here uh, just because we had to curve the road out just to get the depots and everything for the airport to fit. But now, basically, everything is fitting in here. Everything is running smooth, and I've got this all set up in this uh, location for us. So this is going very well. Um, also, for the other airport, I went ahead and I also moved this one, too. Um, you can see where we still have the old airport located right in here. We have moved this airport over to this location here. I wanted to try to fit it in here. I just couldn't fit it in here with how close first the rails are and this depot is. So I even thought about moving rails, but doing that would have slowed down the trains overall. So overall, we decided just to move this over to this area. And this is, I'd say, a pretty good location. Um, you know, basically now the trams will come out over to here and can drop off people here to get onto this air uh, port to then take off and stuff. So we'll see how this works. This just left. So now this airport, we should be able to technically delete. Yes, there we go. And we have deleted it. Now, hopefully, we'll have some more development happening within this area, and we'll get some more houses being grown into that location. But this is going well. Um, we have a few options. Like I mentioned, we can get into the jet era for airplanes. If we go to our planes currently, where is our plane line? If we go to balance, we can go to profitability. So we're making around $6 million a year on these planes which is really, really good. If we go to replace, we can now basically weigh the difference between this Lockheed and the upgrading of this jet here. So these planes hold 23 people while these hold less. This plane is a lot faster. You can see basically um, goes up to 300 miles an hour or 450 miles an hour. This thing only goes up to 300 miles an hour. Um, thrust is definitely lower on this one. Thrust is way higher on this one. So this will accelerate a lot quicker. Um, the running cost isn't that much higher, so let's let's go for it. I kind of want to get a few jets out onto this line. $10 million to upgrade them. Screw it. Let's do it and see how this works. Um, we're definitely going to have uh, these lines losing some profit now just because we moved the location of that airport. So it's going to take a little bit just to get everything back up and running. But you can see here, now we finally have a first plane coming in to our new airport with our new tarmac. Definitely looks really nice. Let's watch this plane upgrade right here. There we go, guys. So now we finally have our first passenger jet plane. Uh, we have only one passenger on this line currently. That is fine. The goal will be to get these to upgrade and we'll get a lot more people on these lines very very soon 
Um, it'll take a little bit of time, but it should work out for the better in the future. Uh, we're just getting kind of the groundwork laid for future jet travel. Um, and having a medium-sized airport, I think, will be enough for most jets. Um, we're not going to have a bunch of air travel, so we shouldn't really need too many planes. But um, we'll see. This plane's going to upgrade behind it, too. So that will be kind of nice to see. I think we have another plane coming in for landing. So yeah, that plane upgraded. This There has to be a plane coming in here. Yep, here we go. We got another plane coming in for landing. So we're just waiting to taxi out onto this runway. When this guy gets out here, we'll uh, watch him take off for our uh, first passenger jet plane. So that should be uh, a definitely a cool thing. I'm very excited to get some of these on. Um, I know you, some of you guys have been asking me about getting some passenger jets on. So here we go. We got the passenger jets on right now. Um, let's see how this guy looks when he takes off. This should be a fun little takeoff here. And they should accelerate, I'd say, pretty quick. Let's see here. Lining up to take off. And here we go. Our first takeoff, guys. There we go. We have our first takeoff in our first passenger jet plane. We only have one person on board, but hey, it is uh, something. And we will continue to hopefully get some more passengers on this plane in the future. So there we go. So we have that now upgraded. That is perfect. Exactly what I uh, was hoping to get done for this uh, beginning of this episode. Uh, we have those trains on, like I mentioned. We got these upgraded. The next best thing that we could probably start working on. Uh, I really want to get this set up, but it still looks like these demands, the demands over here are going just absolutely nuts. And we have some new, pa wow, freight trains. Okay, this is going to be good. Let's see what these trains can actually do, because this could actually be a really good upgrade for us. So since this train only pulls about 64,000 trash to effort, what do these do? 91 91 okay these might be uh the way to go it looks like here yeah you can also double these things up and really get a bunch of power out of them too it looks like okay 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 i'm liking this um let's see here how is the pulling effort on these trains so we can go into some details here and see so power rating is uh moderate so that is fine. What do we have on our freight trains? That's the next big thing to see. If they're okay, then there's no need to upgrade them, but they are. They do look like they're going very slow. So okay, poor, we have poor uh, power rating. So let's go to this line here. Let's see here, line 47. Let's go to vehicles. Okay, let's go to, let's replace this with a different locomotive. One of these new ones we just got. Hopefully these will be better. I don't think there's any difference between them. There isn't. They go a little faster too, so... Running costs are higher. That's fine. I kind of want the higher traction effort at this point in the game. So yeah, let's get this guy on this line here. Okay. So that would be good. Let's see how much does this cost. $34 million? Yeah, let's do it. We're replacing all these trains with some new locomotives. Hopefully that will get these up and running a little bit quicker for us. Um, but while we are also waiting for these to upgrade, let's get another freight out in the line. Because it this is just going way too quick. Um, and we need definitely more guys out here. So same exact setup as before. There we go. And let's get some more guys out on this line. There we go. So let's double this also. And let's place him out. There we go. So we got two more locomotives coming out onto this pass or on this freight line. Hopefully that will also help increase some of this um, freight that we have going on. We also look like we might need to get some more food going here. Yeah, we're going to have to get some more vehicles going here for this food line. So what do we have here? 40, 45. Right, line 45, let's see. Okay. 
So here we go. Line 45. There we go. We'll get some more guys out there. Hopefully bringing some more goods. Yep, perfect. And then how is this line looking here? It's looking okay. How much is this doing? Uh, we're going to have to definitely get some more guys on here too. Line 42. And this is just, I believe, goods. So what do we have here? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so let's just get these guys for this line. Line 42. There we go. Perfect. So that'll be good. We'll have some more guys coming out to bring more food over. I like. I like it. All right, so that is good. Um, wow, our trams are really getting uh, clogged up over here. We really need to get an underground subway system over here. We just got to wait for that to unlock the station, and then we should be able to get some stuff moving, hopefully. Hopefully, I'm hoping, guys. I'm really, really hoping, but we'll see. Um, that's running well. Okay, so I think now we are going to get to the point where I was talking about earlier. Let's get some of this freight situated for this line down here. So what the first thing I want to do is upgrade this station. We need to do three here. Perfect. And how are we going to get this to work? Honestly, actually, it might be almost easier just to run a train to here. I'm trying to think. Because it's going to be definitely difficult to do both, I would say, run a train from here to here to here and then into the station. So let me try something out here, guys. Let's get a freight train. We're going to go dual, full length. And the idea here is we are going to, let's go something like this. Oh, high speed rails. Definitely good. Okay. So now the first stop we are going to need to make is here at this place. So we're going to do the same exact station we just placed down right here. Let's do one like that. And then we need a second. Ooh. All right, let's do a second one like this. These are very close together, so this might not be all that profitable, but I got to give this a shot because I really want to try to not have vehicles running out here. So let's go. Oh, do you know what I could do? That's what we're going to do. I guess I came up with a better idea. I'll read both of these. All right, so what we're going to do is take a road network. I said I didn't want any vehicles out here. Well, um, I was lying. We're gonna put some road networks out here. All right, so we're gonna take this road and run it like this. Straight over to here. Perfect. So that's hooking up basically both of these stations now. And what we're gonna do is very simple. Just put an end platform on this line like that. Not bad. Pretty simple, straightforward, right? And allowing for this now, we'll basically be able to take a train from here, train it down to here. Um, and yeah, that will be pretty nice because we can take, look, one of these, we'll take a depot, place it here. If this lets us, and it does. And now what we need to do is get a depot on this side and a depot on that side. So let's do these big depots again. Perfect, that works. It's not the longest distance. It's probably, again, maybe not the most efficient way to go about this, but I think this will be the best thing for what we are trying to do here, get a bunch of materials out on this line. And basically what I'm going to just do is simple. We're just going to get three vehicles, and we're just going to make a new line from here to, say, like here. Simple, easy, and then we're going to do the same thing with more vehicles. We're just going to buy three more, and we're going to go from here right over to here. So that's good to set. So now what I need to do is get the tracks running here. So let's run one from here. We're going to get it set out to here, and that's going to curve probably something like that. Perfect. Those trains are never going to get up to those speeds. So I'm perfectly okay with it. Um, that's going to run like this. And now the last part that I think I want to try to run here 
Yeah, I, I don't want to truck all this down. Um, I probably should, but I'm not feeling it. Let's get another line going here. Let's go up. Perfect. Okay. And that's good. We'll have that coming down like this. And this will then shoot all the way over to Ahia. There we go. And let's now just do the exact same thing. Let's we'll double track this up. Okay. There we go. Down to there. And this will now cross from here into our station. Perfect. And now I'm just going to go ahead and get all these tracks kind of situated for how I want this all set up. And I will be back with you guys in a second. Okay, guys, and I am back. We have set up how this line is going to look. Um, so far, we have kind of just set up the uh, lines to get the ore set in here, but now we need to get the trains on this line. So let's start with getting some of these locomotives on here. We are going to start with this lower cost uh, train just to start, and let's go with, I don't know, let's say 16. 16. Okay, 16. I'm just going to go ahead and categorize all of these by their proper um, ones that we need. And once these are all categorized by coal and ore, I will get back to you guys. Okay, guys, I am back. And I've organized this train for the ore and the coal. And this train down here will be for all the iron that's being coming out of these facilities. So let's make a new line. And this is going to go from here to there. That is all set. Now this train is gonna have to go from new line from here down to here. So that is good. We now have finally set these lines. We will hopefully start getting some coal out here. Um, we should already have some demand. Uh, no, we don't because this is not hooked up. Okay, we'll have to get this hooked in to get some more demand rolling here, but it looks like yeah, we could definitely get some demand from this town over here. Um, let's get this hooked in. Um, it's very simple. Let's just go here, place this facility. Like that. And let's go here, and we're just going to grab... I don't know, we'll grab like three of these and stick them on for now. Just to try to get some demand rolling here. Okay, perfect. And we'll go from here to there. There we go. So that is good. We'll have some demand coming to here. Um, and we should also get a few things hooked up in here. So like I said, I definitely want to get this situated. Um, this is definitely going to be a long haul back to the town. Um, or I should say to our airport. So this might have to be a train route here, these goods. Um, let's see. That's going to be a hard profitable one to make, though. Yeah, we'll have to. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, while we're waiting for that, I want to get this line hooked up here. Uh, this will get some kind of goods set into this town, which will help greatly. So once again, let's get a line set in here. We need an end route here. And I believe this is not going to be too friendly to us as the other one was. Yeah, because this is super close to this line. Okay. So let's see here. I'm going to place this probably like that. I doubled it. All right, we're going to downgrade this to one. Apply. Perfect. This over here also can be an end route. So let's do the same over here. And downgrade that to there. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And now the hardest part for this is going to get the trains hooked in here. So let's run this across like this. Yeah. These don't need to go super fast because these trains are not going to get super like that much speed. So let's go to here. Perfect. And we're just going to run this train line up to probably here somewhere. And then let's get it to here. And now I'm going to start lifting this up because I need to have this cross this line. Perfect. 
All right, let's see here if I can get this to snap. Perfect, like that. And that works, so let's go to there. And that will hook in eventually like this. Perfect. And that should curve like so. There we go. So now we have this hooked in two. Um, I'm going to double this line up and get a train on this track. Um, this should definitely be a fairly profitable line too. Because plastic I know makes a lot of money. So this will be great for our production needs. Okay, guys, I am back. We have hooked all this in here, and let's get some trains now operating on this line. We are going to go with a newer locomotive here. Um, they just have a little bit more pulling power. This is a little bit further distance to go, so let's do this. Uh, we need, we're going to go with meh, 180 to start. That should be fine, and let's get this line situated here. So this is going to go from this station up here down to here. And you can see everything is double tracked and running well. So that is good. Hopefully we'll start producing some plastic, getting the plastic down to this line. And then once again, ship this bad boy up to here so we can start creating some machines and some tools for this facility area, which will be, that will be a great thing to get done. Um, the last little bit that we really need to hook in, like I mentioned, is really the wood to this facility over here. Um, thinking about this how do we want this to go i want to get profits going both ways so this is going to how this is going to work we're going to run a train also between these two locations but to make this even more profitable for us we are going to upgrade this we're going to add three tracks to here actually we're going to add four tracks okay the idea here you guys have to let me know what you think if you like this idea but what I'm thinking is we take these logs, run them through this uh, basically station here out to where we're going to drop off the logs uh, over here, basically. The logs will be dropped off and then the train's going to come back. When it comes back, when the logs are being already produced, they're going to have planks on here. They'll come back and then drop the planks off here and then go pick up some more wood. It's a double kind of whammy with profits. Um, and I definitely think that will help make this line a very, very profitable line in the future. So let's get this wood hooked in also. Um, I feel once this wood's hooked in, we kind of have most of the stations that I've been wanting to hook in. Um, and then we're kind of at a place where we can kind of really just start micromanaging a lot of stuff here and get everything really oiled out and ironed out. I should say ironed out, not oiled out. Ironed out, and we can really make a bunch of profit. Um, like I mentioned, one of my goals for this series, I wanna make um, a billion dollars a year. Um, in profit so we're going to definitely try to shoot for that goal i think that would be an awesome goal if we can reach it but we will have to see if we can even make that uh possible so let's get some of this hooked in here um this is going to be kind of the first little testing here of our line okay we have that coming across that's here okay now i need to turn this thing out because we need to raise this up perfect there we go. Go to here, and we need to go... Nope. Nope. Okay. That's how we're going to have to do that. Perfect. Cross this over, and this now can go down. There we go. And let's just hook this all the way over here. How does this look? That works. A little expensive, but we're going to do it. All right, so that's hooked in. I like that. Um, this is going to get double-tracked. Now we got to get basically this area coming out, which... This is going to be the most difficult part. Um, I'm thinking almost I want to run this line above ground and then sink it right before here and in. Uh, let's try just to pull this line out. Okay, perfect. We don't even need to sink it, it looks like. Right? Let's see. How is this looking, though? It's a digging in a lot. That's the problem. I don't want to mess up anything that we have here already. See? Okay. That is going to work. So it looks like we're not even going to have to worry about sinking this line. Um, it's just going to do it for us automatically. Perfect. Exactly what I want. All right, so we're going to go run this across like this. And this is going to run straight into that line. There we go. So we have it all hooked in now. I'm going to go ahead and double track this line up and get ready to get a train placed on here for you guys. Once that's done, I will be back. Okay, guys, I am back. Now what we need to do is get another train on this line to start pumping out um, stuff for basically our 
um, what is it called, for the wood. So let's get a locomotive here. We are going to buy one of these. We're just kind of going with now all the newer locomotives. They have a lot more pulling um, and traction effort, which we need definitely for these trains. So this is going to be our train setup here. Uh, just for now, until we can probably get some demand running and get some more trains on this line. So you can see here, we have everything double tracked. This is running perfectly. Um, the trains will come out and start running um, very, very well, hopefully. Um, do we have anything else going on here? These trains over here, we're starting to get some kind of food production. We also have up here some ore going on, which is great. So we should be able to start seeing, I would say, soon hopefully some steel. Yeah, we do have some steel coming down here. Um, and now basically what we need to do is probably get these goods onto this line. So probably, like I mentioned, we're going to have to put, I think, a freight train here. This is really far away from our city. Um, it's just going to be a real hassle, I feel like. Let's see here. Otherwise, they're going to have to come in here, go up here. It could work. Maybe we'll do this just to start. All right, we'll do this just to start. Let's take one of these. We're going to run this to here. Perfect. And let's take one of these, because this is not going to kick off that much, I'd say, goods to start. We're going to place this right here. Simple enough. And we're going to go into here, and we are going to go with these trucks to start. We're going to go with five because we definitely need them for the distance of this line. We're going to go from here all the way to there. Probably not the most profitable. Probably won't make any money, but I'm okay with it for this moment. Okay, so we've hooked up everything that I've kind of wanted to do in this part of the episode. Um, we just got to kind of let a lot of things grow, and I got to start definitely getting back to the managing aspect of things. You can see... We definitely have some things going quite crazy. Uh, for example, over here we have wood and also a bunch of other things going nuts. Uh, let's look at how our lines are doing profitability-wise. Hopefully they're not doing horrible right now. But this will definitely help us to see what we need to upgrade and how things are running. So these are doing okay. This is doing real well now, these planes. This line, let's pause this so this doesn't jump around. Okay, these are good. Don't need to touch these. These trains will probably upgrade in the next couple uh, episodes. Probably next episode we'll do it. This is still doing real well. These are doing good. Good. Let's see, as we keep going down here. This is not doing as good anymore. Damn, that's not that great. All right, let's see. We still have profits, profits, profits. What is losing us the most money right now? Okay, now we're starting to lose money. Okay. So is this freight line. This line is looks like it's not doing very well for us. It's going to start doing well because we just added a bunch of stuff on. This line 31 is also not doing it looks like that well. Hmm. Which is this freight loop going around here. Why is this not going well? Let's see here. It looks like it should be going very well with every all the demand we have here. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure why this is not going absolutely nuts. It looks like we have... Okay, this, this could definitely help here. Alright, so we have a bunch of ore and coal being stored here, which we need to get down here. Yeah, that's definitely one thing that we can work on. So let's get this all figured out here. Um, where are our vehicles? Here they are. Okay. Our vehicles are here. Where is this going to come across? It looks like we not have... Oh, no, we do have a crossing. Okay. So let's build some more of these guys. This will greatly help lower some of this demand. Okay, so this line looks like it's here. So there we go. We got some vehicles going out there. Let's run this a little bit, get that going. We got to start making some more profits because we are definitely losing a good amount of money. But our planes that we did in the beginning are definitely doing very well. 
So I think we're going to end today's episode here, guys. Uh, we definitely have a lot of demand going, which we definitely need to fix a lot of this. But I think that's going to be saved for another episode. I've gotten everything hooked up that we wanted to do. And we definitely have now a good amount of demand going in this lower loop area as well. So once again, guys, my name is Banches. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever. If you guys enjoyed this episode, go down below, smash that like button, and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. And I'd also love to hear any of the comments you guys have on what's going on. Um, if you guys want to see some more things, just you know, let me know in the comments, and I will get back to you guys on that. But uh, yeah. Like I said, we also have a giveaway going on for Transport Fever. So if you guys want to go ahead and enter it, all you need to do is like this video, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. But on that note, guys, we are going to end the episode today. My name is Banches. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.